So ChatGPT quietly released this new feature on May 16. They made this announcement, but it wasn't a huge news because of all the crazy announcements in the world of AI. But now with this great feature, you have the ability to directly upload your files from your Google Drive or from your Microsoft OneDrives. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why this is such a great feature, especially in the professional world. So this is the announcement that they made. Again, this was done on May 16. They kind of released this quietly amongst um, their data analysis and the chart expansion that they recently added to all ChatGPT Plus users. Again, this is available in ChatGPT 4.0 and then also in ChatGPT 4. So this just got rolled out to different accounts the past few days. Mine, I just saw this notice today. So if you come down here now, before you had the ability to attach any file from your computer, but now when you click on this attach file, now you can see that you have two other options. One is you can add from your Google Drive and then another one says connect apps. And then when you click on this, again, this is just from Microsoft OneDrive. Um, so there's one for business and one for personal. I don't have Microsoft OneDrive, but I use Google Drive. So I'm gonna add the file from here. So if you click on add from Google Drive, you come in and again, this directly goes into your Google Drive. Obviously, if you're not signed in, this will take you a place where it tell you to sign into your Google Drive and then give access to ChatGPT. And then you will be able to select any of your files from your Google Drive. But since I've already done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this sample employee data sheet that I created. So I'm gonna double click on that and there you go. So now it directly got attached to it. The great thing about the ability to attach a file directly from your Google Drive in the professional environment, this comes extremely handy because now it gives it removes the headache of you going to your drive and downloading the file and then attaching it to ChatGPT. The ability to directly attach a file from your Google Drive in the professional environment has huge advantages because in that particular Google document, whether it's a Google document or Google Excel file, and obviously it supports different file types like Google Sheet, Google Doc, um, and all sorts of other formats. Uh, but let's say for example, for a Google Sheet, right? So let's say you have several members of your team that are collaborating in the same Google Doc and creating updates. Now, the great thing is you don't have to go each time an update is made by a team member and download the file and then come to ChatGPT and attach it. So now the easy thing is you can just essentially access your Google Drive from your ChatGPT directly, which again, which again removes a huge headache here. So now let's, for this employee data, um, I have this, again, just sample file where I just have some employee names and information about that employee, like their name, their position, and their tenure at the company, and then a few other pieces of information. So let's go ahead and test it out and then see what you can do with these interactions, because I thought it was really helpful that they uh, provided a few more updates when it comes to interacting with these documents that are attached via your Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. All right, so now that I've attached this file from my Google Drive, let's go ahead and uh, interact with this. So I'm just gonna click uh, send. And now uh, ChatGPT is gonna analyze the data inside of that file, and it's gonna uh, give me the option to interact with it. So first, it's gonna present me with the data that's inside the file and then it's going to tell me is there anything specific i want to interact with this particular data and then the great thing is this is also new that now at the bottom it actually suggests different um, prompts that would allow you to interact with this data so for example it automatically gives me two suggestions to extract key details from the information or create summary of the employee data again the information right now in this data as you can see here and then also here as well the information column is kind of like lumped together it's not really um separated into like age position it's kind of all lumped together into this one column so what i can do is now that it's suggested here let me go back to chat gpt i can just say extract key details from the information or i could say create summary of the employee data or i could type something else right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this extract key details for, uh, from information to see what it does all right, perfect, so there you go. That's exactly what I wanted, right? So as you could see before, my normal um, file, it's kind of like all this information is lumped together, but now on my, this response that it generated, it actually gave me this great table with 
several columns. So now it analyzed the data inside my information column where it was all lumped together. And now it created these great columns, one for age, one for position, tenure and department. So as you can see, it's really powerful as far as the ability for it to really interact with the granular details of the data inside your file. And again, it's going to keep um, suggesting new prompts for you. So another prompt that it suggests to generate a summary report with key metrics, create visual charts of the employee data. Again, that's great because now I can even use this uh, to create a chart. So I'm just going to click on create visual charts and see what it comes up with. All right, so there you go. So now I have um, a chart here that it generated based on this data. And again, you can always interact with it and try to figure out if you want the information to be presented in a different way, then you can uh, certainly do that. But you can see that it's now very powerful because um, it, it has access to all these great details from within that file um, that you could use as a collaboration file amongst your colleagues, um, or even if you're working with your own team members, uh, this is a great addition to uh, yeah, your, your collaboration tool. And then another huge advantage of this feature is that now you also have the security of, you know, Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, because obviously these are all cloud-based systems. Um, so all your files, instead of kind of sharing them via email, if you're getting it from somebody within your department or within your company, now you don't have to worry about kind of the security of sending sensitive information or sensitive files via the email. Now you can basically work directly from your own safe Google Drive, again, which is a cloud-based system that comes with that additional security layer. So really great update in my opinion. Again, this is huge when it comes to uh, the business world and um, you know having the ability to collaborate multiple people in the same file and everybody kind of having the access that they can directly import in their own drive without the need of downloading and uploading. Hope you guys find this helpful. See you on the next one.